uh, just to kind of resuscitate this channel. You know what I'm saying? I've been away for a minute. But uh, anyways, welcome back to the channel. This is Anaz. And today I'm going to be doing a, a haul of some sorts. Uh, some of the stuff that I got in June um, and then the previous months. Uh, and I've been away for a while from the channel. So some of the stuff that's been collecting while uh, some of my pre-orders, uh, I had somebody actually uh, keep it for me. But I can kind of talk more about that in, uh, in detail later on a little bit, just to kind of give you info as to why I've been away for a minute. And uh, so let's kind of dive in. I'm going to kind of begin and sort them out by my, uh, begin with like the continuations, the series that are continuing. And then after that, kind of focus on some of the collection, some of the new manga, new series that, that was added to, that has been added to my collection since the last time. So with that, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, thank you guys for subscribing too, as a matter of fact. But yeah. Let's get this show on the road. Anyway, so first thing I have here is uh, Arjun. I think this is the only vertical I have. Volume 17, which is the last volume. Man, the man, Kamen Sakura. I kind of feel sad that he's not going to continue in this genre. I heard that uh, originally he does kind of adult manga. So he's kind of going back uh, to, <laughs> to what he does. Uh, I don't know, maybe. But it felt a little bit. You know, I, I felt a little bit that... <laughs> Uh, Gaiman Sagara got tired, he got bored, so he ended the series. I mean, he could have continued a little bit more. Uh, I don't know, I'm kind of conflicted for the ending because I felt there was a, a good moment that he could have ended some of the plan, but I can understand uh, that uh, the author wanted to pretty much, uh, you know, hide his intentions or subvert some of the expectations that we had, so he made it a little bit more obvious, even though I think that the ending could have been better, but then one step further. Kind of, I don't know, it didn't have as much of an impact or an oomph because the character that the villain, you know, Sayato is one of the best villains. Uh, I kind of compare him to a Madara in a way because he's so just OP'd. The man is too OP'd, so I felt maybe, I don't know if Gaman Sagara uh, put himself in a corner where he could not, <laughs> at least, nothing like uh, Kaguya sama, nothing like that happened. So thank God. Anyways, the ending is cool. One thing I do will note that is one of the best series, it's still in my top 10. And uh, I have to say, the art, the movement, the panels, I don't know. For me, I just, this is pretty much the standard that I judge a lot of manga with. So one of the one of the standards. So volume 17 of Ajin. And then also, volume 23 came in. So it's a continuation of Nor Norogami. Norogami is also in my top 10. Uh, enjoying it. Oh, I'm not going to open it. I'm not caught up. I'm somewhere like volume 17 or something like that. Uh, but I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. This, this, this is kind of a spoiler, though. This image. If you kind of are familiar with the series. Uh, continuing with Kordansha. Uh, Megas of the Library, Volume 4 and 5. 5 just recently came out. I think I ordered, no, I ordered this from Rice Stuff. And this one, my niece picked that up for me from the Barnes & Noble while she was there when she started. So, kind of cool. I haven't read both of them. But I don't know if I read this one. Tio. Uh, this is also, I think, one of the better manga. One of the better ones that I'm reading at the moment. I feel the story resonates with me because I'm a book collector, but also Theo as a main character is just so enthusiastic, but he's smart and, you know, he comes from, uh, it's, it's a similar story, it's not really nothing new, but at the same time, the world itself, uh, the immersion and it's, I don't know, uh, it's so good, but it's based on, a, a, I think, a, a novel, Kafna of the Wind, and it's translated by Haru to Hamada. But I, I am enjoying the story. The fantasy, pretty much the aspect. The fantasy, the panicle, the magical. Uh, I'm going to gush over this. And the art in here is nothing to smear at. It's, it's, it's like this. this. This cover is an indication of how good the series is. Pretty much. So I definitely will come recommend this to anybody. Uh, right after Ajin. <laughs> uh, another one that I'm going to you know heap praise on is going to be London Illustrious Volume 11. Uh, slowly, this is slowly coming out. Oh my god, I don't know when the next volume is going to come out, but this, this, oh my goodness, what's going to happen to our uh, Phospholite, what's going to happen to her, the transformation that she's going through, you know, I, I think I might have to reread the series again, because this is one of those series where you have to really pay attention to everything, uh, one of the harder ones that are, you have to be very, very familiar with, so, so anybody that's new to the genre of manga, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend, you know, something like this, because you kind of have to learn to read manga before, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. That's my opinion. That's how I feel anyways. Uh, these ones are coming out slowly too, uh, and I'm loving it again. So we chat out earlier. I got volume seven, six and seven, I think. Uh, these ones also my niece uh, picked it up for me when, when it came out. Uh, and the reason why I had actually her picking up some of the manga for me is because 
uh, of the environment or the, the that we are in where pretty much things are flying off the shelves now actually the Barnes and Nobles and you know the half price are stacked a little bit more but a few months back things were going out of print and people were just scalping these mangas for not these ones but some of the some of them some of the volumes for ridiculous prices they're still doing that I don't know why people are paying too much on, on eBay or anything like so yeah but seven and eight uh, you know just slow burn I'm, I'm enjoying this one too uh, there's so many ongoing series that I'm keeping up with it's just crazy at the moment and uh, the last of the Cardancha, the thing that we've been waiting for for almost two years <laughs> I didn't even order this volume until this came out 12 came out uh, so I ordered 11 the moment 12 came out and I had no, no, I ordered it from Amazon actually right away because I, I didn't trust right stuff or anybody you know the way this this has been being pushed back I think two years now two years almost that's how long ago it was scheduled to come out like at least a year ago or something like that so villain saga the anime season 2 is coming out so that's gonna be awesome and super cool I think I'm gonna go into Dark Horse uh, so uh, what I have is gonna be Mob Cycle 7 and 8 this is coming out oh my god like a snail like I don't know when 7 came out and then 8 just came out recently 9 is gonna take another year before it comes out and this is the Reagan I wouldn't read this if you haven't read the, the series it's kind of like a spoiler in a sense but Mob Cycle 100 still continually collecting it now for Dark Horse uh, the rest of the, the series that I have are newer series that are uh, you know I'm um, adding to the family of collection that I have here so this one is Miss Kozumi loves ramen noodles uh, there is actually a story behind me getting this uh, one day I was uh, in Utah uh, I live in Minnesota by the way so I was in Utah somewhere where was I no no not Utah Reno Nevada I was in Reno Nevada and uh, I was just carousing looking around for for book you know manga as usual and I found this and I read it and then I brought it back and me and my, my niece also read it and then we both after you know talking about this uh, we had to go hunt down for a ramen shop you know, I don't know what happened maybe it was impulse but uh so I read the first one got the second volume afterwards uh, I think volume 3 is gonna is out actually so I think that's the only three uh, it's just uh you know she loves ramen it's self-explanatory the title says it all uh, just a laid back you don't have to necessarily think about anything so it's a good palate cleanser you can't have uh, you know serious series all the time serious series is that uh, where the world <laughs> hangs on a balance all the time actually I found this volume volume 2 of Wandering Sun at that same place where I got uh, uh, the Miss the ramen and this actually has little dialogue I mean there is some dialogue some some words but for the main part it is the art uh, and every panel feels like a painting that needs to belong in a museum uh, uh, this maker this lady is looking for something I don't know what she's looking for actually I'm confused but I read it without reading volume 1 which I wouldn't advise anybody to read <laughs> volume 2 first before reading volume 1 and I read it so much that I could not, I could not believe it like, I could not believe it uh, so in a way I, went in, I did not know anything about this and then next thing you know I'm looking up this guy here Kenji Tusoro right and I'm looking up all his work I'm like oh my god but is this it is this 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 is what I'm talking about so the art in here it feels like one of those um, like if I have to compare it to like DVDs or movies or if you have your entertainment movie you know like your McDonald's type of you know your garbage movies and then there are more uh, the ones that make you think artistic films cinema this feels like that okay it's in uh, it's is criterion in a way for me it feels like criterion in a way so I basically found volume 1 afterwards read volume 1 then read volume 2 and I don't know when volume 3 is gonna come out we don't even know if volume 3 is gonna be out but these take forever uh, uh, yeah it's, 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 it's weird and then also that there is something spooky about that cat a little bit so one rings on uh, 1 and 2 Oh my I can't wait for volume I don't know if volume 3 is gonna come out I can't I can't wait I don't know this is this is now it just entered my top 10 some some I have to get rid of something and then after that I had to get this also because it's the same writer or at least artist Kenji Kenji okay Eminon and this Eminon also this series I read it oh my it's so emotional but it's like millions of lives this person is like the memory of the universe in a way and also the same same way same formula this man takes his time uh, this one is heavy on the dialogue so it's not just wor more words uh, wondering some you have to kind of pay attention to everything the detail the background 
uh, it's, it's, it's unbelievable, breathtaking tool actually. So, M anon memories of M anon. It is weird, but I, I this is this is eye candy for me. Uh, so, uh, this these after I had to like when I was getting this actually I got it before I left. So, uh, some of these volumes I actually paid a little bit more than uh, retail because they were out of out of print at that moment or out of stock. So, but I felt I didn't uh, I felt like FOMO hit me, but also at the same time, I, I just needed, I had to have it, so I paid a little bit more, not that much actually, maybe like five dollars more than because fifteen might have paid twenty dollars for one of the volumes. I don't know which one. It's kind of damaged too, but still, still, I would still make the same decision, even though now it's back in stock. That's how good it is. Okay, that's how good it is. And then the Empress. I don't think I have any continuation. Mostly they're newer series. Uh, this one also there is a <laughs> there is a story behind. Dead Mount Death Play. Dead Mount Death Play. This is a. This one is weird. So, uh, some of these are in plastic. This is actually rated. I would. I would. I wouldn't recommend anybody under the age of eighteen reading this. So one through six, volume seven just came out. So, I ordered volume one, and then uh, I think I bought volume one from Barnes and Noble, and then I tracked the rest and ordered it around the same time I was ordering Wonder and Sun, but I read this at the Barnes and Noble. I just ordered one. I don't know why. I felt I needed to read it, and uh, it's up my alley. It's uh, Isekai. A twist on the isekai genre uh, instead of somebody being reincarnated in another world we have one of those beings in that world we, we, we you know uh, come from those worlds into uh, you know Japan or Tokyo or earth so it's a uh, reverse isekai in a way but also it has uh, you know necromancy uh, it's magical it's dark and so volume 7 just came out I think last month or this month but some of these couples look cool too uh, there is a multitude of characters, so it's not only the main character, and uh, you don't have to worry, there is no harem. Uh, so it doesn't have a lot of the trappings of the isekai genre, but it handles the characters, and I don't know, maybe at this moment, I don't know, I've read up to about volume 3, so I, at this moment I can't really say much, but from these three that I've read alone, I am going to continue picking them up, and uh, yeah, and enjoying this. Uh, one thing I will note is that the, 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 the writer, does a great job, you know, flushing all the characters, the side characters, the main characters, anybody. Anybody's flushed out very well. And at the moment, is, 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 there are a lot of, you know, set up, a lot of groundwork being done. Uh, it's, it's not one uh, one layer, one level of plot. It's not one enemy. It's, it's multiple fronts, everybody with their own interests. And it kind of plays on that gray. It doesn't necessarily have the good guy, the bad guy. So I'm kind of, I, I like this. But even though the only thing that I, am a little bit turned off of it's a little bit of the the, the mature mature content so it's m yeah so there is some heavy heavy uh mature themes in here that i, I won't just you know i won't disclose but that's about it so that's the empress this is also the empress uh, i just picked these up uh lately i've been picking up volume a new series so uh this one is called emila and duali volume one and two Three just came out, and this is by the same person that does uh, which hat. Uh, I can't pronounce her name, so. Uh, but I'm gonna give it a try, and then if I like it, I'll continue. Same thing with these other two. Uh, you got Uncle from Another World, which is you know somebody an isekai. Uh, some, I think the dude, yeah, yeah, he got isekai. He went to another world, and he was in a comatose while he was in that world. I think it was a gaming world, and then he comes back, and so, ten years or twenty years or seventeen years later, yeah, the company fell under coma. But now he's back like a man risen from his grave. Soon, <laughs> Takafumi discovers two bizarre things. His uncle treasures a video game above all else. So it's kind of, in a way, I kind of I kind of know where the, uh, where this is going with. Uh, I read some of it a little bit at the, at the Barnes Noble, so that's why I picked it up. But yeah, another something that has to do with isekai-ness. Another one of those isekai-ness, but uh, different. I don't know. I've been just exploring that genre. I don't know. Maybe I'm infatuated with or not. But this is the a witch's printing office. <laughs> the main characters. <laughs> this one, the la this lady. I forgot her name. She got uh, isekai again, and she's trying to figure out how to go back. So she uh, makes a guild, and she's trying to track down all the magic. Uh, so uh, kind of like a, a library of magic. So that's why it's witch's printing office. Uh, yeah. So this kind of like it kind of reeves on the uh, middle management in a way, but I, but I'm I'm liking it. So these are kind of the main characters on the back here. So which one, two, and three. I think there's like up to about four or six volumes for another yen press. But that's about it actually for yen press. So the rest, besides my bigger books, are uh, Viz. 
pretty much this, 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 this. So I will start with continuations again, some of the series that I'm continuing. And then after that, you know, move on to the newer stuff, the newer series, uh, or new for me, not new series. But So One Punch Man 23, you know, what, what am I going to say about One Punch Man? Yusuke Kamarada does a great job. One story is fantastic. You know, it's a given at this point. Uh, also, this lie here is a Mobile Suit Gundam of Thunderbolt. Yeah, another one I'm going to rave about always and will always recommend. Uh, you can't go wrong unless you don't like mech and you don't like war, but this does uh, these people. You know, uh, I don't know who the writer is, but man. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to actually search his name and look for his, uh, for other works that he does because of the art, because of the way he his characters. You don't necessarily have to know much about uh, the Mobile Suit Gundam world to enjoy this one. Uh, it kind of helps that if you are familiar with, uh, you know, any mobile suit, you know, whether the television series, any mobile suit Gundam fr the franchise is just too vast and there are some references. But at the end of the day, it has its own story. It doesn't rely heavy on the name, you know, so. But it's, it's tough. I actually probably prefer this more than the, uh, the original, even though it's a little bit of blasphemy. And this shows, so I got 6 through 8, 11 of Chainsaw Man. This kind of shows what I, uh, how long I've been away from the channel and from actually collecting manga. But the person, my niece has been getting these from Barnes and Noble every time it comes out for me. So volume six. So I have to thank her because uh, the, the Chainsaw Man was one of the, the ones that I explained where you could not find it anywhere. And then some people had to wait for months for some volumes to come back, and people were taking advantage of that and just scalping the crap out of this. This is actually a, it's not gonna go out of print. It's, a, it's, it's, it's crazy. The anime is coming out. I don't know if the anime came out yet, but the anime is coming out. So, but yeah, so kind of this indicates because these are coming out, I think bi monthly or monthly, kind of indicates <laughs> how long I've been gone. So, 6 through 11 Chainsaw Man. Oh, I actually like that, that last cover. Another one uh, uh, that was, I got this actually from Half Price Book. So, 7 through 11 just recently. Uh, just finish uh, adding more to my vigilante. Uh, I am collecting the vigilantes. Uh, I want to collect my academia, but at the same time, uh, I don't know. All right, what we have here is volume six and seven of a Moriarty Detective Miss Detective. So I haven't read this, so I can't really say much about it. Now the rest are series that are newer to my collection that I got recently or that I've ordered. Uh, from right stuff before and it came while I was gone. Ikigami the ultimate uh, limit. So I have the whole series here, one through ten. Uh, the majority of this I ordered from actually uh, the majority of it I ordered it from right stuff before I left. And uh, so, but I read the first two volumes and I really liked where the story was heading and kind of the way it, it portrays uh, this. Uh, it's in a world where you know somebody gets randomly picked to die. Uh, so they, uh, and then they get informed in 24 hours that they are actually going to die in 24 hours, and they have to make choices, you know. So it kind of shows you, uh, and then it follows the, uh, you know, the civil servants that have to deliver this news, which is called the ikigami. Uh, so they come, they give you the paper, or they let the family know that this person is going to die, and it's a government governmental system that the uh, this person is going to die within 24 hours because at birth in this society. Everybody's inserted with a certain thing, something, but it's not everybody. So, but uh, it helps, and it shows how each individual reacts. Whether the 26-year-old, the 90-year-old, the 15-year-old, and there are certain. So yeah, it says congratulations, you have been <laughs> randomly selected by the government to die in 24 hours. Pretty much, really, kind of sums up. Uh, but I wonder how how the main character or how the, the character the, how they're gonna grapple with this you know this whether it's from a moral moral issue or just exploring it. I think this is similar to like uh, Scythe. I don't know if you're familiar with that uh, with those novels. But yeah, one through ten, uh, I got the whole thing. Uh, it's cool to actually have a complete series. And uh, this one just recently came out, so it's Ragnarok, Record of Ragnarok one and two. Uh, I tried watching the, uh, the anime, okay, on Netflix. I, I, I mean, even though I think I heard a lot of, you know, negative vibe, and maybe I did bring that uh, pre, you know, my those those. Uh, <laughs> I did bring those ideas 
and uh, and uh, my expectation was very low going into the uh, the anime. But watching the first two episodes, it, it didn't feel right. I don't know. For me, I wasn't impressed. So well, I'm gonna go this route with the series. So one and two at the moment. Uh, hopefully they you know turn these out faster than Mob Psycho. But that's about it for the bigger ones, and these are just the Shonen Jumps. Uh, Shonen Jumps. Before I actually mentioned, uh, mention uh, th th these are the newer ones. Before I mentioned that, uh, I did uh, finish my Mahagi. I will show it. So I got volume uh, 23 through 37 back here. Uh, I didn't want to handle it. But I completed the whole series. It came from Rice Stuff too, I think, with, or in stock, actually, in stock. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that. Uh, can't wait to finish it. I uh, love Mahagi. Now, these are just uh, series, uh, kind of, uh, newer series that are joining uh, the, the collection. And they're newer too, they just came out recently. So you got Sakamoto Days, which is out at the moment, one and two. I read a little bit on the Viz, uh, Viz Media app. And, uh, I want to read the physical. So I'm getting this Assassin uh, Comedy. I'll give it the three test. Now, this one is a bit different. Uh, I read Volume 1, and then the moment I finished that, I had to order Volume 2. I couldn't wait to finish it, and then I went on the I actually read past three and four at the moment. I'm actually halfway. I don't know what chapter. I kind of stopped myself on the, the Viz Media app or Sony Jump app. Yeah. So I kind of passed one and two probably for the next two volumes, two that comes out. But uh, yeah, it's great that the main character is an older, you know, you know somebody old, somebody in their 30s, I think. And this is Barrage. I picked this up on a whim one day but because it's the... Uh, you know the same creator of my hero and it kind of shows that you know the earlier characters how they're very similar to my hero academia it's kind of cool yeah fireworks you know, it's, a nice, it's a nice day fourth of july okay now after that these two are going to be the majority here but let's begin with this one this is my favorite oh my god finally this is one of my wish manga wish list that i've been having for the longest that i've achieved so i uh, found this at half price book but it's the First 12 volumes of, or the whole series of Death Note. Uh, volume 13 was damaged, and uh, then they were they were also charging like more than uh, retail, or more than the 7.99 because these are the older ones back in the day. Look at that, this media, 7.99. Now it's what in comparison, 9.99, but it's not that bad. Uh, so uh, this I, I kind of got this over the the black editions because of the because of the art because of the covers because I, I, man Takashi Obata man the man is a genius when it comes to art uh, the other guy too is, is great you know Tsugumi oh. but Takashi Obata I'm actually his art is growing on me uh, that is one of the reasons why I want to even though uh, I love the series Hikaru no Go I want to collect it it's one of my one of the series that I want to collect because of him but also because of the story but he does the art so it's cool 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 uh, so this pretty much yeah just note the whole series uh, 1 through 12 Volumes 13 is just the how to read. If I find it for cheap, I'll, I'll get it. Otherwise, you know, it doesn't really matter. And then I got this too for the short stories. I did read the the one that came up about a while back on the Viz app. I forgot the name of the story. Yeah, the new L, the new Kia, Kira, whatever. But uh, uh, I haven't read the rest of the shorter stories, but I did read it. Then and then finally, I kind of sold off my Shaman King, the the ones that are coming out at the moment, and then I found this. Uh, one of the, the stores in Minneapolis, Niggers and Quinn. And they were selling it for pretty much like you know, five dollars, six dollars here. So I got the first ten here. Now I'm missing something. First ten, but I am actually liking this because of the, the covers. It's just way better and it feels better in your hand than that bulky three in one. And uh I know that probably that one has better translation than this. Uh, but you know, if I find the rest I will I will hunt them down, but I'm not gonna pay more than uh, see, tougher price, seven ninety five back in the day. I'm not gonna pay more than that actually. Some of them I kind of paid actually eight bucks. And never mind. I don't even know why I'm saying I'm not gonna pay for that. So the rest is eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then I'm missing fifteen, and then it's sixteen, nineteen, twenty. Uh, there's an assortment. I think the series ends up in, in the thirties. So uh, that's about really it for the newer series. Uh, the series that are new into my edition. Now finally. Uh, these are my bigger books, the bigger books, <laughs> bigger books, kind of fan of bigger books. So Asylum Boys uh, Collector's Edition Volume 1, there's going to be another volume, and uh, the paper quality, 
you know, even though I enjoyed this story in its anime form, I watched the movie a, a few times. Uh, I do want to read the manga and compare it, but I, this is a collector's edition. That's that's you know, I'm a collector. I'm also a manga reader, but there is a, a portion of me that likes to collect these things. It's beautiful. Yeah, silent voice. And uh, uh, the other stuff is just things that I, I have. I had them on pre-order, but I I usually get them from. Uh, in stock trade because in stock sells it for it usually gives me about a 42 percent discount uh so the blade or the immortal three four and five i think i have i think two also but i forgot it uh, three four and five six just came out so i usually get them from in stock uh usually like order uh in the blade with with the blade with berserk so berserk these this kind of shows how far also again kind of like the uh Kind of like the chainsaw man it kind of shows how far how long i've been away from the channel so we have what is it eight nine eight ten eight nine and ten so eleven should be coming out i don't know when eleven comes out mm, if i uh, if i put my two cents to i you know my two cents uh, on uh if the series should be continued or should not be continued i'm not really uh conflicted i would love to see the series end and have a completion uh, I am a fan of the Wheel of Times, so I am familiar with uh, Robert Jordan, who wrote the, uh, the Wheel, Wheel of Times, died before he was able to complete it. But he, you know, annotated and recorded some of the series, uh, made uh, he made arrangements, uh, recorded, dictated some of the ending, and uh, Brandon Sanderson completed the series based on notes, based on the plot. And uh, I think it was, it was a great, it was good, it was very, very good actually. Uh, I applaud Brandon Sanderson for completing it. So if something like that happens, where the people that continue berserk are they kind of know where you know uh, uh kenta mira r.i.p where he what what direction or if he actually even knew the ending if he had an ending in mind or how to end the series in mind and he dictated it or wrote some notes or you know some detail for the plot then yeah i think i think it should be continued and somebody can complete it i mean the art i don't know if somebody's the art the art can be done you know this guy's art is great but uh yeah, my two cents on the matter of uh, the series continuing it. Hopefully, it's not just a money grab, and that uh, you know, kind of something like the Wheel of Time type of thing happens, where we get somebody that's dedicated to the series, and maybe hope and hope for the fact that you know, Kintaro and Mira left some notes behind as to how the series should end. Now, if that's not the case, maybe and you know, uh, the writers or the team that worked with them know where the series is heading, and as long as uh, the ending is solid, you know. Hey, first we have to see the product. If it's good, we're not gonna complain. If it's bad, we're gonna be like, you know, kind of like the Game of Thrones thing. <laughs> we'll be, <laughs> we'll be outraged. Either way, it depends on how the ending is. Really, <laughs> at the end of the day, uh, that's it for Berserk and for manga really in general. Now the rest are kind of like my, uh, the comic books that I've been collecting, uh, and these two are kind of like the my re the recent pur no no, yeah, these two are my kind of my my recent purchase. I got JLA, the Tower of Babel. I like the story. I seen the anime, the animated DC movie, uh, Doom. So, kind of based on this. And Mark Wade. Hmm. This is actually maybe the first one. First, I've read something else of Mark Wade. I don't know yet. But uh, hmm. I wanna enjoy the story in its original form. Watchmen also also watch the movie, but I wanna enjoy the original source. And I, I don't know. Alan Moore is becoming like one of my more than him and uh, I guess uh, Grant, Grant Morrison, the two do are becoming like my, my new favorites. And then we have Batman Grant Morrison Volume 3, still in the wrap, that uh, completes. I got the first two, three volumes, so this is a Grant Morrison's one on Batman 3 Omnibuses. Uh, read the first Omnibus a little bit halfway through the second one, but uh, I want to see what happens, man. This man is doing a great job, but this one was at the time when I was ordering, I think, out of stock and then came back in stock, so. Got it for a good deal. Got it for a good deal. Now this, this, uh, humongous, okay, homunculus here, homunculus. Uh, uh, Flashpoint, I want, to, I want to read this series, you know, so, uh, I'm a fan of the Flash, trying to collect the Flash, in, 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 I only have uh, the, the 52, the new 52 Flash in Omnibus. I want to get, uh, I think, uh, what's his name? Um, Jeff, 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 Jeff Johns, is it Jeff Johns, I think Jeff Johns or something, 
Yeah, he's he's one, and maybe Mark Wade. I don't know if Mark Wade had a run on it. So those two, those two, honestly, honestly, they're runs. Go back to the original Flash, whether it's uh, Wally West or you know, Allen, Barry Allen. Yeah, but this one too, I got it for a good deal. I think it was like forty percent off or something like that when I got it. Uh, I missed out on uh, the death and return of Superman. Uh, I saw it one time. It was like fifty percent off. I could have bought it, but uh, but I had to. I had other priorities. So that's kind of it for the for the DC comics and the comics. I'm kind of keeping only DC because you know, as a, as a matter of fact, the manga hobby itself can be demanding. So I don't want to just you know dive headlong into comics themselves. They also have great series, great stories, but I'm just uh, you know uh, at some point you have to realize you can't read everything. Even though they're, so you're gonna miss out on some great things, uh, pretty much. And uh, you know some of these stories I want to enjoy. I don't necessarily have to collect all of them. I'm gonna collect some of the omnibuses and some of the kind of like some of the stories like uh, DC New Frontier or Kingdom Come. Some Superman here and there, but about it, I'm not. I'm not really gonna go like uh, ape wall uh, on collecting on comics too. It's kind of, I, I kind of have to just uh, push back on something. Manga is kind of gonna be the the main uh, main focus for my collection. So kind of that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. If you're up to this point, and thanks for subscribe. Uh, you know, I would like it if you subscribe and comment it below. As to you, what do you think of some of these series? Uh, kind of getting back into form. Probably you don't know what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, that's about it. But for now, as to why I've been gone for a while, uh, I've been away from the country for about five months. Kind of just uh, took a vacation also, but I had to take care of some other stuff, some business, personal stuff that I don't want to you know, share. But uh, I enjoyed my time, and then I've been working and relocating, and then so I had to keep some of my books actually in storage, and then I left some with uh, like some of my cousins, and then it wasn't there. But now, most of my books and my manga are actually with my nieces, just keeping an eye on it. And uh, until I, I'm coming back working and just getting new apartments and just dealing with life in general, I don't necessarily have time to worry about you know putting my manga in storage. I don't like it being in storage, so it's better that it's here, it has a home, and somebody that take care of it. And, you know, so I'll probably have a, a manga collection video in like maybe a month or two once I move into my new apartment and set up everything. But before then, though, I'll, I'll continue, you know, just doing manga hauls here and there and maybe talking about some of the manga that I've been reading uh, for this month. I, I've been actually reading more online rather than uh, some of the books. Uh, so I've been reading Kingdom a lot. Kingdom pretty much read the whole half of Kingdom online. Sad that we're not going to get that. And uh, One Piece 2, I've been reading One Piece online, kind of made a few videos, didn't really work out. So I might have to kind of go back and, really, you know, just push it, push it, keep it pushing, keep it pushing. But uh, yeah, pretty much, if some, you know, people are interested in what I've been doing on my travels and, you know, I can upload some of the stuff if people are interested. So let me know in the comments. But otherwise, yeah, thank you guys for watching and as always, peace.